Hey, what's up, guys? So, today's video, I'm going to um, be testing out some of these Crimson Guitar uh, Stunning Stains. Um, I bought a, a large uh, black and a small concentrated Crimson Red. And the guys down at Crimson very kindly um, included one of these little droppers for me to, uh, uh, to get the, uh, the, the stains out of the bottles with. So thanks very much guys for that. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today, just testing these stains on some little um, sections of veneer which um, I purchased for my next uh, guitar project. This, this is the actual veneer which is um, described uh, when I purchased it as a myrtle burl. Um, so this is what I'm going to be working with. I'm just testing the red and black um, because that's the sort of thing that I wanted on this um, particular project. Um, so yeah, um, I'm also just going to be testing a little bit of this um, unstained on some some with, with some true oil just to see how it comes up um, uh, in the natural uh, you know uh, form type of thing. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll rearrange the camera and we'll get going and uh, get some of these stains onto the uh, veneer. Um, so I've cut these little um, little um, swatches, if you can call them swatches, um, of, uh, of veneer. Um, I've got some uh, just some ordinary uh, water ready just to thin some of the stains down. Um, I, I did want to try a deep black, a lighter black, and um, just to see how it brings the grain out on these, um, and then a light red, and the deep um, red and um, just um, the true oil on its own and uh, a few minutes ago as well was filming the first little section of this video I did test a little bit with um, with some um, bleach um, just to see how it may come out just bleaching the veneer a little bit, just to lighten it off a little, a little bit. So that was the, that was the um, piece um, prior to putting it in the bleach. And this is the piece after uh, the bleaching. I'll try and get a close up of that for um, I do quite like the lighter one. Um, but it's going to depend on just how um, things come out with the staining. What I may do is put some some of these little swatch pieces in, uh, the little test pieces of veneer, and lighten them off, and then redo the staining again once I've actually bleached the wood and see see how it looks. You know, to compare the two, uh, but we'll see how we go on with that as uh, as this time goes on. I've got some um, a, a little piece in, in some bleach. I'm going to bleach three or four of them um, in order that I can do the same tests on, on, the, on the bleach section, see if it looks any different um, at the end. Um, so I'll probably have to uh, just keep swapping these over from time to time uh, through this video. Okay guys, so I've got three or four pieces in the uh, bleach at the moment, I'll keep an eye on those um, as we go along and take them out at the appropriate time, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to start off first before I get my hands dirty with any stain um, with the um, true oil. Now, none of these pieces have been sanded at all, this is just as it's, as it's come to me, so um, whether I would sand them before uh, applying these um, stains and the true oil uh, on the actual project, I'm not sure. Right, so I've got some little pieces of these uh, kitchen towels just for these little and uh, just for these little uh, samples. This is the uh, 
just the true oil. And it's on. May need to come back and put several several coats on, uh, on, on this with the true oil. I would intend once the everything's stained up to finish the guitar either with the true oil over the stain. Um, or possibly um, lacquer it. I'm not sure yet which way I'm going to go. It's a project that's not started yet, so I'm just doing these test samples to, as you can see, that veneer is very delicate. So I'm going to have to be careful, I think, when I'm using it. But that's the, uh, that's the true oil. And uh, what I've got here is. Um, the stunning stain shots from uh, from Crimson, like I say, uh, this is a concentrated version. So before using it in the concentrated form, I'm just going to thin some of this out um, into some water, which I've got in one of these small uh, small jars. Uh, see if I can get something like. Um, the colouring that, that I want. Um, this isn't a review as such but obviously you can probably see how things come along. That's just with one that's just with one drop. What I'll do is I'll just put the lid on and give that a shake. And that's uh, that's quite that's quite a deep um, uh, deep colour. If you wanted it lighter, obviously, probably more water just to the one, to the one um, drop. Uh, so I think I'm going to add a second one to that. Probably deepen it up a little bit more than it is. So I'll just put one more drop in. Oops, no, I've got two, maybe three there. Not to worry. It's all an experiment at the moment. So that's three little drops in that and, and that is quite a nice deep, uh, deep rich uh, red. So I don't, I don't even think it's worth uh, probably trying, um, trying that on neatly to tell you the truth but for the, just for the, um, for the fun of it let's put a little bit on this one straight out of the bottle and see what happens Possibly a little bit too much uh, for what I'm wanting. So that's the that's the neat. It, it may lighten up. It may look nice when, when, when it's got the the uh, true oil on afterwards. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. So that's the deep red. We'll go ahead and try uh, this red that I've just thinned down. I think with the with the thinner one, it, it, it possibly just go over it two or three times, and just to get to the, the stage that um, that you're happy with. So that's just one coat on there. Right, I'll go on to the, um, the black. This is a stunning stains black. Um, it's a bigger bottle, but it's not the concentrated type. And I'm still going to thin some of this down again. And again, even with, even looking at that with the um, thin down in the water, it, it is very black. 
so I possibly could have gone a little bit thinner with that but we'll see in a second. I'll you know, just check on the, uh, the veneer that's um, bleaching at the moment, that's coming along. That's the first piece I've put in, I've put the other pieces in just afterwards. Um, so that's lightening up nicely. It's not quite as light as the first sample piece I did as yet, but this is a very, very thin piece compared with that. But these are probably twice as thick as that, so they probably want a bit longer just to, uh, to come down to that sort of uh, colour. Give those a little bit longer. Right, let's have a go at the uh, the lighter black. The idea of the black is just to bring the the, the sort of colouring of the, um, the figure out, and um, it will be a case of um, it will be a case of um, sanding them down afterwards. Well, that's not making a great deal of difference. I've got a little bit of red on there in my hands, but that's yeah, that's that's lightened down black. Um, again, I may have to go over that with two or three, you know, two or three coats in order to um, to bring it to to what I want, and then we'll go on with the with the black straight out of the bottle. Oops. Just like you know, I'm not affiliated or anything with the uh, Crimson Guitars. This is just purely uh, what I purchased for them, uh, from them, just to uh, to do this. Um, project. Obviously I've watched some of the, the videos um, about the stains and um, if you need to check them out there's plenty of videos on the uh, Crimson Guitar YouTube channel um, of, of, um, of the guy that runs the place Ben using the stain so um, you can check that out if you don't see any of the other colours and what have you uh, that, they, that they do. Uh, now with the black, that's that's neat black. Um, I'll probably let that dry out a little bit, and then give that a sand down just to see how it brings out the the grain. Um, the idea would would have been to sand it down, get the sort of black grain, the grain showing through a little bit more clearly, and then go over it with the red, um, or just go over it with uh, the, the true oil, depending on which way um, I go with things. I'm not 100% I'm, I'm not decided yet. I haven't decided as yet um, what the final colouring um, of the, of the uh, guitar is going to be um, at the end, so there's still a little bit of room for manoeuvre. These ones that are in the bleach are uh, coming along nice and now they're lightening up quite a bit. That's, that was the original colour, so that's, that's, they still need a little bit longer to come, come a bit lighter like, uh, like that one, so probably another 10 minutes or so. But we'll come back to those um, at the end and basically do the same test on those that we've done on these. This is the um, this is the original veneer. I'll try and give you a close up of this, um, so you can just see what what I'm going to be working with. Don't know what you guys think, but I think it's it's quite attractive. It could it could look really nice on the. Uh, on the top of the guitar body so hopefully when it's done it will it will look okay. I'll glad I'll just give you a quick uh, a 
quick close up of these little pieces I've done. That's just the true oil uh, on its own. And we've got the um, deep red. And we've got the uh, light red with just the one, the one application. And then that's the, um, the light black. Uh, doesn't seem to have made that much difference to it really. And then we've got the the um, one coat of the dark black, which um, I'm sand down in a while. I'll put this just to dry off. Um, the heater a little bit and then I'll come back and uh, sand that off and then put another coat on and see I'll sand it off see what it looks like first possibly put another coat on so I'll uh, put a second coat on these uh, lighter coloured ones Looking really for something like a nice cherry red. It's just a case of experimenting, I think, with, with um, what I have here. To... And again, that, that black's just not uh, done a great deal, I don't think. That's the thin down, um, uh, ordinary black. Um, not the concentrated one, so I may do it just add a little bit more black into that. And we'll put the next pass and then see what happens. Yeah that's definitely that's definitely a bit blacker. I like that soak in a little bit. Give that a bit of a dab. That's definitely darkened it more than it was. Again, this using the light one, I'm just seeing how the how it'll bring the um, the patterning out or the figure the veneer out without. Um, without sanding it back like I probably do with a deep black. So I'm quite liking the uh, the, the uh, deep black with the, just the neat black stain. Uh, it's looking quite good. What I think I'm going to do with that piece, um, I was going to sand it down but you know, I'm going to cut, cut that in half and just sand half of it and leave the other, other section just the stain on and um, put some true oil on that and just see how that comes out with just the uh, just the true oil um, I'm gonna just get some sandpaper and sand that down a little bit now this is uh, just one, 120 grit
looked like. You just see the comparison between the sanded one and the uh, one without the um, sanding. Um, I don't particularly, um, don't know particularly whether I'm liking that one that's sanded. To tell you the truth, but we'll see what happens when we get some of the uh, the true oil on there to finish it off. Um, I'll just put another quick coat on this on this uh, light red again. The more the more I'm doing on that, it's, it's looking more brown than red. I think. Um, may possibly on this deep red do the same as I've done with the deep black put that into two and I'm going to sand this down with another 20 and we'll see what happens to this point it's um, got the deep red stain up see the, um, the concentrated red and the concentrated red that's been sanded. We'll put the true oil on both of those and, uh, and just see what happens with those. These are the pieces that have been bleaching and as you can see the, the, um, the, they've got quite a bit lighter now. That's the original bleached piece and this is the, the colour before bleaching. So. Um, I think that's going to be as far as it's going to go. It's been in quite a while as this uh, in the bleach. I don't think it's probably going to get much lighter than that. So I'm going to take these out and just dry them off. I'll just get any excess bleach off them first and then let them dry for a couple of minutes. Okay, so again, if you compare the, the bleached with the uh, original, there might be some slight differences in, in the bleach in there. One of them went in a little bit earlier than the others, um, but overall they're pretty much, pretty much um, identical, I suppose. Right, so where were we? We're gonna we're gonna go on some of these others now with uh, with the true oil, I think, and just see see how they come out. So this is the deep red that's not been sanded. That's the concentrated red, and this is a concentrated red which has been sanded. Ok, 
okay I'll try not to contaminate the uh, pieces with things in the same rag I'll try and change the rag for each one obviously with the two oil and the more coats that you build up the shinier the surface is going to become I don't really think I've got time to, to keep building lots of coats up here doing this little test so I'll probably just put one on I think I'll possibly just two and just see see what we get from, from that quite liking the, uh, the, the light black as well which is the one I'm just doing now that's the one with the, um, the ordinary black stain just thin down and then we've got the one now with the black stain which is neat and the one with the black stain which is sanded So, so that's had two coats of two oil, which is just the plain veneer. One coat on each of these other ones. And I'll keep those rags there so I know which is which. So these are the pieces that have been bleached and uh, they've had a, a little while to dry out. So I'm going to just basically do the same test again on the bleached pieces just to see and um, see what we get so this is the, um, the bleach with the two oil doesn't seem to make a huge difference in that first pass anyway um, so and then what we're going to do is we're going to go on this one with the concentrated red this is completely neat concentrated red And then we'll go with the lighter red on the bleached. Again, we may have to put two or three coats of that on. This is the thin down black. And we'll go neat black. A little bit too much there. Not the waste, but I think it's it just go a long way because this. Uh, Stain, so it's quite good value for, for money, I think. Okay, so that's a neat black. I'll just try and show you a little comparison um, um, of these. I'll, I'll probably lift the board up actually because it's going to be a little bit easier than lifting all the pieces. So the first one is the, um, the um, just treated with true oil bleach one and the um, 
normal one, unbleached. Then we've got the deep red, which is unbleached compared with the bleached deep red. I'm quite liking that one. Uh, that's more of the sort of uh, the colour that I was hoping to, to get. Um, and then we have the light, the light red, which is a thin down concentrate um, on the normal veneer, and then the one on the um, bleached veneer. And then we've got the the lightened thin down black on the normal. Um, if I can get that on the camera. Somewhere. That's the thin down black on the normal, and then the thin down black on the bleached. The concentrator black on the um, normal. That's a concentrated standard, and then we have the concentrated on the bleached and the. Um, Obviously that's not sanded as yet, so I hope that, that was reasonably clear. So I think we're probably coming roughly down to the end of this, apart from uh, just sanding these back once they're dried, sanding this, this one back. Um, I could possibly cut that one, which I think I'll do, and sand part of that one back. So I'll just put these little, in fact I'll, 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 put, I'll sand a large piece, I'll put these two just to dry a little bit in front of the dryer and then we'll sand those back and then we'll just put some true oil on these and that's probably going to be the end of the test and then from these I'm going to have to decide which I want to use for the project. Okay, I, th I think as, as I'm working on these um, what I had in mind is sort of coming, is coming to fruition and, and I think what I'll go for on this project is the natural um, with just the, the, the true oil. It may be lacquered, I'm not sure. Uh, and I think the, uh, the bleached with the neat deep red find quite attractive so that's going to be those two those those two there which I think I'm going to use for this uh, for this next project um, I'm reasonably happy with what's come out there so that's good I'll leave those there just as a as a reminder So all I need to do now really is just give these a little bit of a sand and then put some true oil on. Maybe just compare that one to that one to possibly use in conjunction. Um, the, the blacks I, I don't think I'll be going with um, at the moment. The, the only other the only th other thing I, I need to try possibly is putting some of the red. <clears throat> over these blacks because the, the, the idea was just to to bring the um, patterning of the grain through with the black. So it may be um, it may be that the red over the black um, gives me a nice um, a nice finish as well. That's not unattractive. That's the that's a bleached one, um, unsanded, and that's a bleached one, sanded. And that that has brought the you know um, a bit of the grain through quite nicely. So might possibly uh, just continue with that one and put some red over it, 
and see what that looks like. Okay, so that's the that's the red, um, which is a concentrate on the on, on the um, bleached um, layer. So I think what I'll do now, I'll just add a little bit of true oil to these two, and possibly no. I'll tell you what I'll do. I don't want that colour, definitely not. So I think I'll add a bit of the concentrated red onto that little piece and just see see what that looks like for bringing the patterning through Be a little bit heavy hand in there breaking the veneer right okay so that one then compared with that one it does That's the one I, I've just decided I probably would use. And that's the one with the uh, with the black, uh, black, and then the red over the top. Um, that's the one with the black and the red over the top, uh, compared with that one, which is the original one. Um, so I'm quite liking the fact that it's bringing the, the grain through on that one. Not sure if it's a little bit over the top, um, but I, I think I might bob some, get some true oil on that in a second, um, and just see what happens. These uh, these pieces are they're still a little bit wet with the stain. Um, I don't want this to drag out too long. Um, and become so boring. So um, I'm just going to do these with true oil now. I might come back later um, off camera and just add some more true oil just to um, to see to see how they all come up. I, do, I think I do need quite a few coats of this true oil for it to. Making to any, any, you know, any kind of a difference, really. Oh, I'm breaking it again. The pieces I will be working with. Um, on the project will be a lot bigger than this so um, and as you can see the stains coming off there with the two oil so I am rushing this a little bit which I shouldn't do for the sake of um, the video right okay so I think that's just going to be about it I'll just give one more pass of these just to show um, just what, what I've done again. It's all got a little bit confusing. <clears throat> I'll take the camera off the stand. So just a little recap of, um, of what we've been doing um, on this video. Um, that's the, the natural um, veneer with um, with just true oil on again it's only a couple of coats so it's not particularly shiny but uh, it's just really just to show how the grains coming through there uh, the next one is a concentrated crimson uh, red that's on the um, natural again and then the this one I believe we sanded down still natural it was um, uh, sanded down I believe and then some more red applied uh, forgive me if I'm wrong because um, I'm doing this uh, several hours later um, this is the the red which is the concentrated red which was watered down 
two, possibly three layers of red on that. This is the one with the um, the black. It's not a concentrated black, but it was watered down again. Again, maybe two or three layers on that one. And then we have this one, which is a concentrated black. Um, all these again are just the natural veneer. Uh, that's a concentrated black um, as just applied and this one was a concentrated black which was then sanded and uh, that moves us on to the um, to the bleached pieces and again we can compare those to the originals that was the bleach with just the true oil uh, and no color this was the um, the bleached with um, the concentrated then we've got the bleached with the um, th the thinned down um, red and then we've got the bleach with the thinned down black and then the bleached with just the black so um, as a comparison for all those those, those are sort of the, the comparisons between between the, uh, the the bleached and unbleached, and then I think um, the whole process of this was to to decide on on um, the sort of scheme I was going to use on on the next project, and that's worked out to be um, a combination of these ones, which is the natural. Um, with just the true oil then we've got the um, and I, I think that's probably going to be the combination that I go with those two that's the um, bleached with the um, with the um, concentrated red and the other one in the group was the um, the bleached um, and then the black and then the red over the top so that's going to be the, 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 the combination, I should imagine it will be those two and possibly that one, I, um, but we'll decide that later on. So that's about it guys, thanks very much for watching. Um, if it's been useful to you uh, or informative, um, please uh, subscribe and press the like button. If you press the notification bell, um, you should be informed if I put any more videos up and uh, i do apologize for the length of this one um i did add some extra on by going with the uh, with the bleached ones um, i could have split it into two videos but um i decided just to to roll it all into one so thanks again for watching and i hope you enjoyed guys thanks again cheers